Hello, my name is Ilona. I know I will talk about it a little about the times after the Soviet Union in the 90s. That was uh, a completely different time. A lot of things changed. Uh, actually, really, maybe even to opposite. <laughs> it was absolutely different. And a lot of people, of course, they were not prepared. Because, of course, uh, they, was, they were born and grew up in absolutely different country and um, they didn't even heard like how, how my mom told me for her it all happened like instantly she didn't know anything she didn't heard about any changes or anything no of course some things but these people who were like protesting and doing the, all this underground, maybe stuff, something, yes. But nothing really pointed that Soviet Union will collapse. And my parents, of course, they had their jobs, they had their, well, quite normal lives in absolutely different country and they felt like they know their future, how it will be, like nothing will change, and this is, will be how it is. <laughs> and then everything changed. So how old were they? Like, like around 35, so less than 40 years old. So yeah, much younger than I am now. So yes, yeah, they were young and suddenly they are, they lost their jobs and no money nothing uh, I remember how my mom uh, went to her work for the last day and how we went back home uh, <laughs> she, I don't know she didn't look like depressed or something yes we had this uh, kind of safety net. Uh, we knew that, they, that we will not starve, of course. And at that point also we had no idea how it will be, like after a year or two or three. Uh, this was really the time where a lot of people, or probably all people, were confused, despite that uh, many people wanted this, they were fighting for this, but uh, I guess even for them it was a little bit uh, scary, but yes, you, you now can build your future, your country. Uh, now looking back, what do I think? Did, did, we, we, did we manage to do that? Uh, a lot of things probably could be better, but I think it's still Despite everything what happened in the 90s and everything what we went through, um, I personally think that it is much better now than it was in Soviet Union. You have these opportunities um, to do something <laughs> with your life or travel or leave to another country, which and go to another country, which we couldn't do actually, yes, in the Soviet times, of course. Also in the 90s, it was another problem. I, as I told already, I think, in this my childhood memory video about the 80s, that before that, in the Soviet Union, like in the 80s, okay, people had money, uh, they were fine, but we didn't really had a lot of choices where to spend it. In the 90s again, it was opposite <laughs> because sh shops were full of everything, but we didn't really had money. And this is uh, also why it is so, for me as a child, how I remember it, psychologically, how it affected me, I guess that uh, 
as a child until the 90s. Um, I had a glimpse. This is a war of something what how could how probably people live somewhere outside the Soviet Union and it felt like something like a fairy tale land. We had some kind of idea how amazing it is uh, uh, outside and how we how people there can have uh, chewing gum in a shop by different variants or ice cream, which we didn't have in my childhood, not as I said in the previous video. Ice cream was, well, let's say rarely available. It was not available every single day. And yes, another thing, uh, chewing gums. Uh, Estonians had their own chewing gums, so sometimes we could buy these Estonian chewing gums in our shop. But it was maybe once a year, I don't know, it was something. Uh, yes, and what I was saying, yeah, how it, yeah, is the fact that before your parents could afford to buy maybe something like that, but it was not in the shop. After that, when we had this, all this stuff, all the shops, and not just the shops, they flooded with all this um, foreign. Uh, colorful stuff and you can see it but you cannot have it because you don't have money so there was this period of time when yes i kind of felt i cannot have what i want okay i understand it's just like Okay, ice cream, chocolate, chewing gum, whatever. It's, I, I am not saying that. I, yeah, I, I was not starving, <laughs> at least in the, at the time and until maybe six, I was sixteen years old, something around. So another part of the nineties. Uh, yes, nineties. That's a whole decade. It's ten years. It's not. 1991 is not the same as 1999. So through all these 10 years, we had different periods <laughs> uh, in our life. Uh, we had times when we had actually a normal life. And when it's not like my parents didn't have a job for all these 10 years, no. Um, my father actually managed to find some kind of job, I don't know how, in Moscow. So they were doing this building stuff, <laughs> building houses, something, I don't know even what. Uh, so they went to Russia with a huge group of people from our town. I don't know even how they found it. So it was in the first half of the 90s and um, so they went like for a few months I guess, maybe one or two and then they went back for maybe a few weeks. So at this time actually we were fine compared maybe to some other people because we not just had money to just survive but we had more than that so this was the time when we could buy all the candies <laughs> whatever we wanted um, but also there were times when there was absolutely no job for my parents my mom then went to the farm as she was started to work in the farm like doing more before uh, before of course when they had jobs they couldn't work in a farm my grandparents kept their farm uh but uh, then uh, my mom of course she made this farm a little bit bigger a little bit more animals we even had a horse at some point and um, well yeah that was really a hard job and she didn't earn really, really huge amounts of money that was something what let us well, survive 
And that was the time when I already went to, well, let's say college. But it's a college in the sense of UK, not US. Uh, it's not like university, but more like professional school. <laughs> And of course, you need a little bit money <laughs> to travel, to live there, especially if you, when you are young and want to go to parties and everything. So that was a really difficult time. And yes, also for me as a girl, I wanted to dress nicely and everything, but of course, uh, uh, it was hard. But okay, yes, these were this times re really very hard but for some people probably it was even worse so I I personally know when I look back up at all these times I well we survived <laughs> I cannot complain it was sometimes it was better sometimes I still have um, Ah, good memories from this time, despite all the struggles and maybe despite that I did, couldn't have everything what I wanted and despite having maybe some harder times, uh, uh, still it was amazing about, about all the opportunities which we finally had, which we did, didn't in the Soviet times and of course a lot of freedom in the 90s which uh, again there is also another thing with all the criminal stuff which happened but that's probably in another video uh, okay uh, thanks for watching and